prey frogs are going crazy. Alright folks, so I am down by the pits right now. I'm digging around trying to find more pits. Um, I got a like nice 80-90 signal. Out of the hole it's 80, uh, 68. But it's a good little find. Check it out. Right here. It's part of a pocket watch. The pocket watch innards. Well, at least the uh, copper piece. Probably has stuff written on it. But I cannot see it right now. That's a cool find. I like it. Let's get back at her. We might have another pit, folks. I mean, I'm just digging down here and just randomly decided to dig here. And, um, getting a lot of iron. There's slate, like, off of a roof. I got a crank here. Here's the slate, like, off of a slate roof. It's a big old crank. I think. Yeah, that's a crank. This thing may be part of a bucket, but just digging down. That stuff's just sitting right there, so I'll dig down a little bit. Hopefully, we are on another pit. If not, it's all right. We'll keep trying. But that's a good sign. All right, we definitely got some sort of a pit. I mean, there are bricks and stuff everywhere in here. Um, doesn't go that deep though. This is all the stuff. I got one part of a soda bottle that's slate, a bunch of iron and coal and bricks and stuff. But this just came up and this is very interesting. This is brass. Let me get the dirt off. A big old brass thing here. See that? That's brass. This is brass over here. This whole piece here, oh, there's brass breaking off of it even. This ground here is very acidic. So not just the iron, but the brass disintegrates too. Yeah, that's like a big brass connector or something. Didn't even hear that with metal detector. I'll look for markings and stuff on it, but it's attached to iron. But that right there is pretty cool. So, we might be on it, we might not be, but, oh yeah, hear that? There's definitely more stuff down here. What do we got right here? Iron. Iron. Brick. Iron. Yeah, I mean, we've still got iron and stuff, so I'm going to keep digging. That's all we got for the pile so far. It's kind of going back this way and that way, and I'll keep you posted. Very next scoop of dirt. That's definitely brass. It's uh, very, very uh, about to fall apart. That might just be like some fancy decorative piece I'm not sure there's definitely wood in the end of it that's rotted away so this would have been attached to wood I'll have to clean that up uh, a little bit nicer but I don't know maybe a handle or something no idea hopefully it's got some patent marks and information on it a nice piece of brass It's a shoe. 
I got a shoe. We got a bottle. A bottle popped out. I think it's complete. We're gonna check it out together. Just came out of the sidewall right here. Right there it was sitting. It's cork top. Oh, it's a Listerine bottle. Cork top Listerine. Listerine Lambert. Pharmaceutical Company. Very cool. I love me some Listerine bottles. About 1900-ish or so. Listerine. Cork top Listerine. Oh, I knew we'd get a bottle today. It's a nice little one too. Very, very dry down here even though it just rained a lot. Beautiful. Alright. We got a lot of stuff coming out of here. We got shoes. So we're going to keep on digging. It doesn't go that deep though. It only goes about a foot down. So maybe this whole area just about a foot down was the old natural layer. And we'll find a bunch of goodies. We got little pieces of bone now coming up. And what I believe is a flake off of an arrowhead. We really don't have any rocks out here. And when you come across a rock, especially one that looks like other airheads you found, might be a flake, like they were chipping. Oh, I do see a couple chips on it, so very well could be a chip off of an arrowhead, like when they were making it. That's a chipped off rock. I have a very weird wrench here, and it actually has writing that I can kind of see coming through the iron. Which is cool, you don't normally see that. S, I can see an S. That is the oddest shape wrench I've ever seen. No idea why it looks like that, but we're definitely gonna clean that one up. Electrolysis it. Came out of this pit here. I also got glass, rock, and a lot of bone probably turtle shell but it's old turtle shell it was buried ah got stuck in a storm hopefully it doesn't last too long haven't even buried the pits and stuff back yet 70s 80s it was very bad now it's very good. Um, let me get situated and I'll be right back with you. We'll go over it. Okay. That could be a can, I suppose. But it's not. Alright. We have something. Something brass. Ooh. Something really cool, I think. Jeez, that looks like a, a, you know what, I don't even know. It's like a, a pump or something. Oh, dang it, I hit it. Looks kind of like a pump. Like a refrigerator door handle, a big old brass one. But it's got like levers and stuff and little bits coming out. You like pump, 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 pump. I don't know. It's got a hinge right there, so it definitely would pump it. You'd push it and pull it, push it, push it. I'm not seeing any marks, though, although it is super muddy. That is really cool. It's a shame I hit the dang thing, but it sounded like iron, and I'm just testing for pits. That's awesome. really like that. I mean, that's a beautiful piece. So... This is what else I'm seeing. Like lots of seashells and stuff were coming out. Chunks of seashell. We could have a pit. I mean, we really could have a pit. So, 
definitely gonna dig down here some more. Well, I have a bottle, another one. Test pit over here. Dug some iron bits and stuff. Nothing too crazy, but we have a bottle right here. It was sitting right there. Okay, it's one of these. These are like from the 19 teens. They have a whole bunch of these. They're generic. It is a screw top, but it's loaded with bubbles. So it's nice and old. I think it's like 19 teen, 1920 ish. Very cool though. We got another one, a baby one, to add to the collection. We'll keep digging around here a little bit more and search in this pile. So I barely saw that. So this is a tiny one. There's a bottle over here too. A medicine bottle, but it's broken. Another accidental high tone. Sixties, seventies. Ow. Oh. It is a uh, valve stem off of a tire Schrader. Uh, most likely Model T Ford Schrader valve stem. These will have dates on them. But I can't read them right now. I can see a five. Not exactly what it is. Valve stem for a tire. It's a small one, so most likely a Model T. Wonderful. All right, it's starting to rain again, but I got a nice 80, 81 signal out of the hole now. It's reading a lot lower. 71, 72. I just saw it. Come on, where'd you go? There it is. It's a button. It's got a shank on the back. All right, we've been doing pretty good with buttons here lately. Yeah, there is the eyelet or the shank. It's pretty crunchy because we're down by the water, but I'm sure we can probably get something off it. Usually around here, when you find a flat button, they're military. But it could be a civilian. I think it's a World War One. Yeah, I could see an eagle on there. So, the age of this place, it's a World War One. No, I think that's just a great seal button. These biting flies are crazy today. So uh, at this site, that would be World War One teens. It, the house wasn't here any later than like 1930 or 2020 20 something. I'm pretty sure. Very very cool. Nice little flat button, two piece or three piece button. This would be considered. And another random high tone. I didn't plan on digging. I can see it, it's like silvery. I don't think it's high enough for silver. Oh, it's a fishing reel. A nice old fishing reel. Old, old fishing reel. This sucker is old. That is wonderful right there. You know, I find bits and pieces of them all the time, but. Shakespeare, honor built, honor sold, made in Kalamazoo, USA, should have patent numbers on it, I would think, and this thing still turns, son of a gun, 
Yeah, I'm not going to clean it up too intensely right here. But luckily, it's got the brass holding it together. Copper and brass. Because it still works. It still spins. That is wonderful. Kalamazoo. <laughs> Absolutely. Hopefully, it's got patent numbers. If not, I'm sure we can find the date. It's still got some nice silver wash on it. <laughs> yep, fishing reel. It would have had a longer part connected. I found complete ones of these. Not probably not as old as this one, but complete ones nonetheless. All right, there's the turtle. There's where that came from. Take us out. It is. It's right here. You know what? I don't think. You know what? That might be the other piece to it. Yeah, that probably is the other side to it. And then the string would have been in the middle there. Yeah, I think so. It's got the same gold or uh, silver wash on it. Right next to each other. That's got to be the other half. It's the same like roundness too. Explaining here, there would have been like a pole. There would have been like a pole connecting the two and the string would have wound up in it. So they fit perfectly. So that's what those are. I never knew what these were, although I have found them all the time. Fishing reel. Bob says he's got a foreign coin with a big two on it. I think I might know what it is just by hearing that. Ooh. 1909. All right, that's not the one. I was thinking, um, Two Fennec. Two immense Thanos. Oriental del Uruguay, 1909. Republic, Republica Orienta de Uruguay. A Uruguay coin from 1909. How about that? That's awesome. That goes along with the age of all this stuff here at the house site. Very cool. Got a weedy. Oh, and Bob's got two weedies too. New penny challenge. He's got a 1918 and a 19 something. Well, you're doing pretty good on the coins today, aren't you? 1920, I think. Very cool. All right, everybody, it's time to go over the fives. It's very humid and very rainy, so sorry if the camera's acting a little funky today. And sorry about the noise in the background. Let's go over this stuff. Uh, start with our brass pieces. Some big old brass lever. It's broken, that's probably why they threw it away. This other big old brass piece connected to iron. Looks like it was a burner of some sorts. I would think like a gas burner. Tell me if what you think. Uh, iron piece. This piece, I haven't seen any writing on it. It's wood. That wood goes all the way through it, so it was around wood. Pocket watch. Big old weird wrench. Listerine Lambert Pharmaceutical Company uh, Plain 20's bottle uh, Cork top top This whole bunch of iron sheets wrapped around with uh, copper wire I think that's off of a radio or something And we got some pottery That little piece Our Shakespeare fishing rod We got two pieces off of the reel And we got our uh, Great seal button. About World War One era for this house. 
possibly a little flake off of an arrowhead. It's got some chips and stuff on it. And big old copper piece, copper pieces, and we got a Schrader valve stem, like a Model T Ford. So there you have it. That's the highlights for today. And Bob got his uh, two centimey coin from uh, Uruguay, 1909. He got a 1918 and a 1920 wheat penny. Very, very good day. Hope you all enjoyed this hunt. And we'll see y'all on the next.